has improved the most in this offseason? Um, I think that offseason I just tried to expand and improve on just whatever I was doing last season uh, just to get better at things uh, both offensively and defensively and just get prepared for whatever's needed of me this season. Can you talk about the, the front court? Obviously you lost John for the injury and, and everything, but you have some people that we haven't seen before. Ice is coming back. Yeah. So what does the front court look like to you? Yeah, I think that um, the past couple of um, preseason practices that we've been in and workouts, I think that me and Ice have been working more on like our chemistry and getting kind of like to that level of like where me and Dorka were so that we can get into our high-low bag. But I think that having Ice as um, an addition to the team, being uh, impactful on the court, is going to be great for us this season. So I'm excited. Well, yeah, when Paige despite steps Paige. on the court, when Paige steps on the court, do you see, sense how much she's missed being out there? Yeah, I think how much she's missed and how much the team has missed her as well. I know I have, I think. Um, you know, the dimes and the vision that she sees on the court uh, really helps us be successful offensively and defensively. So we definitely miss that. And um, I think her leadership as well <coughs> is a crucial part of our team. And it's glad that she's back and I can play alongside with her. Earlier, what, what about her physically? She said, despite the setback versus freshman year, she's put on 15 pounds. She feels stronger. She Before she got injured, she had already focused on trying to be stronger to deal with really physical defenders. Do you see her, not just since she's been back, but over the years having become a stronger, more sturdy player, do you think? Absolutely. I think that she'll tell you um, that she's the strongest on the team, which is <laughs> cap. But um, you can definitely see the growth and how um, attentive she is with her, um, like whatever she's doing with Hootie in the weight room and applying it to the court. And, you know, sometimes you can see that she's a big guard and uh, she's needed in those positions. But I think that she's just ready for the season, ready to play for her team, play for her coaches, and ready to play for UConn Nation. So I think that anything that you've seen her done or seen improved in her is really her mindset and speaks to her character. Has your mindset as teammates changed, like, during practice, like, step off a little bit or when she comes down the lane you're still kind of showing her that you're a little stronger no than no she no is. especially if I'm guarding her there is no mercy at all because <laughs> I think that we're both competitors and uh, that's what we each love about the game and um, she's here to get better I'm here to get better so and our team is here to get better so it's kind of um, everybody's going at 100% that's not good in the end this is the start of your senior year no, it hasn't. I, I think academically it has, but um, in terms of the season and basketball, uh, with it being the first day of practice, I'm just excited to, um, you know, tap into this season. Is well, how much stronger are you from this point last year? Uh, I would say much stronger mentally. Um, I'd say physically, you know, I'm staying in shape, doing all the things that coach needs of me to do, but I think that mentally I'm just really locked in and ready for whatever he needs me to do or the team to do. Is there more a sense of urgency for this team with the number of upperclassmen, potential seniors, maybe have another year, maybe don't want to have another year, that, that you got to get what you came here to get done this year? Yeah, I think, you know, the goal is what we really don't speak of until um, when the time counts in March, but I think every day, every practice leading up to it, we work towards our goal and it's to put the 12th banner up there. Um, but as I said, it's just something that we don't really talk about or think about in the moment, but we work towards it because I think everyone just understands what needs to get done here. Well, yeah, you said at one point your mom's advice to you was the biggest room in the house is the room for improvement. That's kind of stuck with me. So what room did you work on this offseason that you want to see uh, yourself take the next step in? I think just many aspects of my game. I think the off season I was able to bless to play with my national team and to grow in that aspect, you know, um, coming back into the UConn role and to my leadership, I was able to carry carry over many characteristics that I learned with my national team and playing against pros. And I think towards my game, I'm just looking to be a better player than what I put on last season. I'm not sure what that will look like right now, but I think that I'm just ready to be there for my team and for my coaches. When you talk about getting mentally stronger compared to last year, like what are the specific areas where you've seen that or that you worked on in that regard? I mean, basketball is a tough game. And uh, for the past three years now, um, personally, I haven't gotten to where I want to as a team. And I know that we can accomplish more than what we've shown and what we put out. So I think just holding that to my chest, wearing my heart on my sleeve and putting that into practice every day 
is really what I've tapped into mentally and I know that it's more than capable. I know that we can do it. It's more about um, actually getting it done. So what do you know about part of the game? Um, Paige said that one of the biggest things you know she learned in her year off or I mean you know on the bench was just watching the game and seeing it in a different perspective. Have you seen that new formed part of her basketball IQ filter into practice yet so far? I know it's only but. Yeah, it's only been a little bit, but um, for sure, I mean, uh, Paige has always been a suit of the game, um, so have I. I think that, you know, we always take time to watch film, um, watching the WNBA playoffs, and uh, just watching basketball, being around basketball helps you grow the game off the court, and you can apply it onto the court. So I think um, Paige having her, you know, being one of the leaders on the team, it really helps not only the upperclassmen, but the um, freshman class and the sophomore class as well, you know, them uh, just kind of trying to find their foot into this team and just not being scared of taking chances. Aaliyah, what helpful. did you learn about, or what did you wish you knew as a freshman that you know? <clears throat> uh, that's a good question, but I don't think anything can really prepare you for what's to come. Um, I think as a freshman, um, just to be fearless. I'm um, not saying that it wasn't, but um, just to know that it's okay to make mistakes. You know, you're a freshman, you're supposed to. It's all about learning, but I think also uh, the teammates that I've had when I was a freshman, and especially my freshman class with like Paige and Nika, um, you know, growing up with that team and with that class has really helped me to just tap into myself as a player on the court and also off the court and, you know, have sisters and in the team that's here at UConn. So I think that just as a freshman, and what I tell the other freshmen is just to be fearless. It's okay to make mistakes, just be confident in whatever you're doing. Coach oh, just yeah. talked about you taking that next, next step to be a first team All-American. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for anything, uh, really. But as I said, my goal is to, as a team, is to get where we got to um, and beyond last year um, in terms of our goals. And um, I think that we're capable of achieving the best of the best. Aaliyah, what's it like to defend Ice? You talked about the offensive chemistry earlier, but when you go up in her practice, what are we going to see when defenders are trying to keep her from getting to the hoop? Um, she's very assertive. I think that she knows what she wants to do. Um, is able to put the ball into the hoop, so it's really about outsmarting her, which is good for me. But I think that um, as an offensive threat, she's just, uh, as going back to what I was saying about the freshman, she's just fearless. I think she knows what she wants to do, knows how to get to the basket, knows how to put the ball in the hoop. So to kind of see what she's going to help our team do this year. What's well, the biggest preparing part you've for seen? this time of year, uh, what have you learned from your first year or two getting ready for the beginning of practice so you don't you know, overextend uh, you know, at this point and, and you're ready for the whole season? Um, I said I think just – physically being ready and mentally being ready. I know that, you know, preseason we go through a whole bunch of workouts and stuff, but it's really put to the test when we start practices because you're doing that every day and you're asked to be excellent or to like a UConn standard every day. So um, it's more a challenge, more of a pressure, but it's healthy pressure and it's going to prepare us for um, what's to come in the long run. What's the biggest growth you've seen in freshman Nika versus now senior Nika? Uh, less turnovers. <laughs> I think that um, she's just a more mature guard. I think that um, she's really tapped into what um, it means to be a, a guard here at UConn, which is difficult. And I think that she is the energy that the whole team needs. And um, building off of her is what's going to help us be successful. It's not just going to come from her, but has to come for every, every one of us. So I think that as a leader, that's what I'm really trying to hold accountable to myself is to, um, you know, she's going to set the standards. So we all got to be accountable for ourselves and accountable together as a team. We talked a lot about um, watching and playing with pros over the summer. Is there somebody whose game that, that you watched, uh, Melissa Thomas, Asia Wilson, someone that you see and say that's something I can incorporate in, into my game that's a level that I want to pursue a passion wise anything like that who would it be I mean it's it's tough because I think all three the M MVP contenders um they're all my kind of position or um all kind of um players I look up to because they help my game um whether that's being a scorer like Stewie or being um 
able to finish with contact like Alyssa Thomas or just being dominant as like Asia Wilson. I think that everybody really complements each other and I think it's just great to watch women's basketball in general because you can you can nitpick whatever you like from each player and um, you can kind of make it your own. So that's how I take it. Wait, did you know Paige quite well pre UConn? Um, I wouldn't say quite well, but I played against her many times because we were both on the national team kind of spectrum. So I saw her when we played against like U17, I believe, in like Argentina and then also in um, Belarus as well. So, you know, it was more we were more competitors at that that time than like friends and sisters. But, uh, yeah, I've known her for a while. Someone's personality obviously can change drastically from age whatever 15 or 16 to 20 or 21 how have you seen her change if at all um I think uh as a person I got to know her more when I got to college obviously but um prior to college it was more just like I see her as a fiery like competitor which um kind of attracted me because I'm I'm a competitor as well, but, you know, coming to UConn and being in the same class, I think that we've just gone through so many struggles, so many wins, so many losses, but I think overall we've just grown together, I think, with Nika as well. I think that's just a special class for me.